Okay, let's say that you're walking through your yard and you see this weedy little thing and you're wondering, hmm, I wonder what that is. You look at it a little closer and you see that the flowers are kind of pretty. So with this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use an Android to you and use iNaturalist to identify that flower. So the first thing that you're going to do is open iNaturalist on your phone. You already have it downloaded. And then you are going to press the button, make an observation. You're going to press, take a photo. And then you're going to zoom in pretty close on that plant. You're going to see how nicely you can get the flower itself big and in focus. So try to zoom in on it. Great. Now see, so you can see the tiny little purple bits in there. You're going to wait till you get it nice and focused, and then you're going to take that photo. Okay. So now you have a choice. You can retry or hit OK. That's a beautiful photo, so you're going to hit OK. And then your AI is going to take a minute, and what you're going to do is you're going to press, what did you see? You're going to wait a minute. Your, the, your computer, your phone is going to look through everything that it knows, and it's going to say, huh, we're pretty sure this is in the genus. When it says, we're pretty sure it's in the genus, Speedwell's genus Veronica, you know you're in good shape. So let's look at the top 10 things. Let's look at timed leaf Speedwell. So go ahead and click on that. And you can see, in fact, that that flower looks a whole lot like the flower you were looking at. So you're going to hit, since you agree that that's timed leaf Speedwell, you're going to hit select. Okay, and then you're going to hit, click the check mark. Okay, now on this particular phone, this is the first observation this user has done. So it's taking a minute. It's going to load it all up. Once that green line is all the way to the right, you know you've got it. And what's going to happen is after iNaturalist has loaded it into its big iNaturalist database, a human is going to look at that photo and agree or disagree with you that that's timely speed well. We're not going to, this, this user hasn't um, taken enough observations with the phone to have a whole collection, but once you have, um, once a human has looked at it, a little chat box will come up and they'll either agree or disagree. And once it's agreed, then you have a plant that's research grade and you have identified your plant with a computer and with a human. Okay, I think we're done.